Hi, my name is Destiny FOMO and I have a problem. <laughs> So if you've been following me for a while, you know that I am one of those people, when the Nintendo Switch came out, I kind of went Switch crazy. I feel like at one point I had the biggest Nintendo Switch collection on the internet. I had just about every American release of every Nintendo Switch game, as well as all the special editions that came out with the original Switch, all of the Switch lights, and now all of the Switch OLEDs. Now I know a lot of you people are thinking, didn't I say I was stopping collecting for the Nintendo Switch? Yes, I did. However, I am a sucker for a special edition console and a really good looking console. As you can tell, I didn't completely fully relapse. There's no sea of red behind me and there's only three special edition OLEDs out so far. So I thought I might as well jump on these. One for the simple fact that this Zelda one just came out today or yesterday. I am a super fan of Splatoon. I absolutely love Splatoon and Splatoon 2 I have been playing since it's been released and I've always had a soft spot for Pokemon. So without further ado, let's get to this unboxing starting off with this Zelda Switch. Now I know a lot of you have heard me say in the past that I am not a Zelda fan and that is still true. However, this is a really pretty console and I have a ton of friends right now that are super into Zelda and they've slowly been trying to convince me to get back into the game. There's no real reason that I have beef with Zelda and no real reason that I shouldn't like it other than the fact that I am super impatient. And you know what? I'm a little bit older now. I've gotten a little more patience. So I'm gonna try and run through Breath of the Wild again. I tried it once before in the past and I got lost. I got lost on one of the side quests and I just gave up. So since we're getting a new game, I thought might as well jump back in and try it all over again. So let's open this bad boy up right now. So one of the things I do love that Nintendo is doing with all their OLED special editions is actually making them different from each other. In my ultimate Switch unboxing video, I go through a bunch of the variants that we had for the original Switch and kind of showed you guys how Nintendo felt like they were stealing from us because even though the boxes were different for the Switches, the Switches themselves weren't. There were very few Switches that had like any differences on the consoles or the docks but for the OLEDs they're all different and I absolutely love that Nintendo took the time to give these all their individual love. So let's take a look at these Joy-Cons. Now one of my favorite thing about Nintendo is that they give you so many Joy-Con options for the Switches. I personally am not one of the Joy-Con people who collects every single variant but I do have a wide variety of Joy-Cons because sometimes you just see something and you really want to get it and they're super easy to replace because they're so small so you can have them in a little container and just put them away. But look at these. The detailing, they're so nice. Gold and white, I absolutely love it with a little green in there. I also love the fact that they kept this dock white and added the design to it because when I got my uh, Switch OLED, I got the white one because I wanted it to pop and stand out when it's sitting on the TV stand with all my other consoles. It's really dark and dingy and you can't really see much, but with this nice white dock, it just shines through. Now even though they didn't do too much with the console itself, they gave it a little design on the back which still makes it different from the original OLED which I can appreciate. I mean the Switch itself isn't a huge console so there's not much you can do to make it different besides the Joy-Con and the dock. So I appreciate them trying their best, especially with this one. So many people in the Nintendo community and the Switch community never even thought we would get a Zelda Switch. So many people anticipated for the OG Switch, so many people anticipated maybe a special edition for the Switch Lite, but I don't think anyone, I don't think anyone thought we were gonna get a special edition OLED because so many people are still bent on the fact that we might be getting a Switch Pro. I don't think we are at this point. Nintendo's making so much on the Switch Lite, the OG Switch, and the OLED. I don't think they need to pump out a Pro just yet, but at least we got this. 
Now let's look at this beautiful dock. Like I said, I really love the fact that it's white and they added the detail with the gold so it can really stand out and keep with like the true Zelda theme and colors. Look at this, beautiful. I personally have never really been a fan of white consoles just because I'm scared of getting it dirty, but with this, I love it. And I don't touch my dock enough to feel like, to have that concern, but I'm glad they gave this to us. Now for the Pokemon one. This Pokemon one, I haven't played the game yet just because for a Pokemon game like this, you have to dedicate your time and your life to it, and I just don't have the time to do that right now. However, I am taking another trip to Japan, so I might pack this bad boy with me and start my Pokemon journey on that 14-hour flight. But what I really love about this Switch is that they also kept the dock white, but added a bunch of colors. So the orange and the purple on here really freaking pop, at least on the box itself. Look at that. These Joy-Cons are so cool and they kept it a little basic on the front, but then you have the starter Pokemon on the back, which is a really cool, nice little feature there. And I love this on the console. So unlike the Zelda one, the Zelda one, they kept it very minimal on the back. For this Pokemon one, they threw a bunch of Pokemon on there, bunch of bright colors, did their best to make it different, which I really do appreciate. And look at that. It just all ties in so well. And now for the dock itself. Ooh. So unlike the Zelda dock and the original OLED dock, this one actually has a glossy coat to it, so it feels really nice. Minimal detail on the back, but we got this little thing right here. It looks great. It has a gloss to it. I actually love the way this looks. It is so cute. And last, but certainly not least, the Splatoon one. So I played a lot of Splatoon one and I've been trying to get my game back in there with Splatoon 2 and I've really been enjoying it so far. Although I will say I'm probably getting beat up by a bunch of little kids online, but I'm still having fun with the Splatoon Switch. With the OG Switch, they did have a Pokemon one that was Eevee and Pikachu that was really nice. And they did do a Splatoon one as well. With this one, I like that they chose different colors and they still kept it bright. We got the purple. It's like a purple blue. It's like a two-tone. It starts out like blue and on the top and on the bottom it gets to purple. And then this one where it starts out yellow and goes to green, these are really nice. They have a little bit of design in the back and most of the design in the front of the Joy-Cons, which again, they're trying. There's not much space on here to do much, but they're trying. Now with this, I will say with the console itself, they did go a little minimalistic with the design. It still has something there, but it's like you have to hit it in the right light to see. but hopefully you can see it in the camera. In the right light, you get the little touch of design in the back with just a bunch of Splatoon characters. Pop these bad boys on. Beautiful, <laughs> look at that. And they also kept with the white dock as well. And this dock also has a pretty minimalistic style. Like you don't have to turn it in the light a specific way to see it or you kind of have to strain your eyes a little bit because it's a very subtle design similar to the back of the switch with that nice splat of color there. It's cute, it's nice. 
and it's definitely probably going to be my new main switch because I'm thinking about giving my OLED switch a to my little brother and making this my main. But let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Which one of these switches are your favorites? Are you gonna pick up the new Zelda Switch? Are there any variants here that I'm missing? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more. And until next time, peace out FOMO fam. Bye.